Hi guys, so it's time for the sketchbook update. It is May 1st. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning of the sketchbook. In my second sketchbook update, I did actually show the first few pages of this one, but since I completed the sketchbook, I just want to show it all because I think it will be a nice thing to do just showing all of the sketchbook instead of just a little bit. As you can see, I started this March 29th. So these are the pages you've already seen. You couldn't actually see this page last time and I think I'm just going to turn off my light just so you can see it. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it just a little bit better. Okay, so... Okay, so I think these were the last few pages you've seen. And basically I was just going through various different styles and just what I wanted to do. Okay, so this is the 5th of April. I'm just going to start from this point because I feel like it's a good starting point. This was Easter Sunday. Okay, so then on the 6th of April I did some pen doodles. I call them doodles. Like other people call them masterpiece masterpieces. Especially that one. But this one is to celebrate the fact that on the 6th of April I had 60 Instagram followers. I'm nearing a hundred now, which is amazing. So thank you. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, it's at Snowy Mariner. Just a little plug. Okay, so this one I worked really, really hard on, and her name's Clara. So, I really thought Clara was a nice name for her. Plus, the Doctor Who reference is completely there. Okay, so this one was an illustration in watercolour. The only thing is that the watercolour and this paper kind of don't mix if you add a bit too much. A Copic marker is just completely come through. Okay, so I'm going to just turn this. I just have to check the camera is still on this. Yes, it is. So basically, I really love this illustration. This was done on the 7th of April and I love the detail. Okay, I have a real attention for detail. That's why I really love this sketchbook. If I had any more portfolio interviews at universities, I would take this to universities. I didn't really know what to think at that time. <clears throat> so this is where I started cutting out cutting out the um the paper. It's because I really wanted to save paper at the end of my sketchbooks because I felt it was a little bit just not not very good to waste any sort of good usable paper. So this is a picture of Loki and Elijah and yes her hair is like that and there is a, I think one more sketch with her hair like that that I've done recently. So yeah can't wait to look at that <sighs> so this is a sketch that i did with pencil crayons and copics and spectrum nor markers now i just really wanted organic line art so i just sketched in color and then i just colored it in color obviously Yeah, kind of self-explanatory. So these two drawings, I decided to do one on the 9th of April and the 10th of April. And I love the one on the 9th of April more than the 10th. Now, here is where I show more of my attention to detail. I love detail still. And cyberpunk is an amazing genre where you can add so much detail. But it's not Loki anymore, I don't think. Okay. Just checking if it's still in shot. Okay. It is. 
Okay, let's see. So this is just a random set of sketches and I really want to do some more design work on those. Okay, so this on this page I really wanted to do some sketches of my male OCs. Obviously, Jalal, Reese and Rocco. So I did some sketches of the boys and Reese's eyes turned out really wrong. If you view back on my Instagram, you can actually see that there is two pictures of Reese and one of them has really small, creepy eyes. And those were his eyes beforehand. And I really like the way his eyes turned out the second time. Now Rocco, I really like. His drawing just turned out perfectly, okay? Oh. So this was a contest entry. So this picture everyone has gone mad for. I'm still finding people who are liking this picture. 70 or something likes. And it is astounding. Like everyone's gone mad for it. And I don't know why because it's literally one of the like mediocre sketches in here well mediocre I'd say because I'm not keen on it but I do like it and I don't I don't know what to say obviously it's of Loki with her hair up which is very rare nowadays but I do like to draw her with her hair up did more of the details on the 15th in the morning because I had a university interview and I was really tired. I really needed to sleep. So, yeah, over two days. I did this at the university. Basically, this is a gender swap picture of my OC Loki. And as you can see, she's in, in the mirror wearing a pretty detailed dress. It's... The details are not very well seen because it's so small. I had to draw it really, really small. So, who is this? This is Logan. Now, all of my OCs have gender bend versions or gender swap versions of themselves. And, yeah, this is Logan. And the reason why it's got this, like, loop around it, it says gender swap mirror. Beware, your swap might take, no, might steal your spot in reality. So this is just a random pose that I did. It kind of inspires something else a bit later in this book. Okay. So, the 16th of April was my little sister's 16th birthday, and we celebrated, and I drew this little picture in the restaurant, and I took a picture of it, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, this picture, hang on, this picture is just... A picture of just a random chubby chibi mermaid. I started do, doing these things called chubby chibi. And this one's just a little chibi of Jalal. It, it's my favourite thing in the world this is. I love the way it turned out. Chibi Jalal is like... So more chubby chibis. I also did... This is like me. And how, how you can tell it's me is because I'm left-handed and this chubby chibi is left-handed. It's actually me sitting down at college waiting for class to start. So, yep. Another eye practice. I hate the way that one came out. I like that one, but I'm not quite keen on that one because it's kind of like a different view of this one. So, I posted this to my Instagram and... People have been really, really supportive of the fact that I'm using my presence on social media for a good thing. I'm using it to give advice to people, which I think is really, really good. I think people should use their social media presence to actually do some good. And... I drew this little picture and it says don't suffer in silence like I did 
and I suffered so badly because I couldn't have the courage or the bravery to tell anyone whether it was my parents or my friends or my teachers I couldn't tell anyone and the only place where I actually found any kind of sanctuary is on the internet no I didn't like put my feelings on the internet I basically just forgot about all of the bad stuff that was going on in my life when I was on the internet and then it it just became this whole world that is now and I can't believe that it's brought me so much happiness but I still look back at my past and I still wish I would have told someone about me being bullied but I didn't so I'm just gonna have to look back in a little bit of regret okay so the next page is basically some just ran random sketches that I did and I was so bored I I did this at the beginning of the day and then I did this like at the end I think and I think it was a half day so yeah it was a little bit boring so I just put too much work not enough time and I'm still drowning in work like even though I'm coming up to about four projects instead of like having six I'm still finding it a hell of a ton of work because I still have my final show to prepare for I still have this I still have that and I'm getting a little stressed I'm pretty sure that in my red hair I will probably find a grey hair somewhere after this course is finished <laughs> there is a probability of that and I don't know what that probability is but you know so here is where I do some pen sketches again I love doing pen sketches because it basically is like you can't turn back on your decision and I started drawing Jalal here and I was like oh this is gonna turn out so bad it looks rubbish and then I just worked on it and just kept going with it and it turned into this the only thing I regret about this drawing is his arm on this side it does look a little bit broken but other than that I think it turned out great and I did some like little mini me annotations on this page I just go is that me no it's not and I'm like yes it is but it's a thinner version of me because I'm a chubby chibi I might as well be a chubby chibi because I'm short and I'm chubby so chubby chibi me yay and this one says Jalal what are you doing and I think your arm is broken yeah and down here it just said that boy is a mother fluffing monster I don't like to swear in my videos for people who've said I have swear in my videos basically I don't class any of the what you call swear words I don't class them as swear words because they're part of my vocabulary that I use as a British teenager I use them in my day-to-day -day life so <laughs> so they're not actually like swear words like okay let's just say I say crap and instead of rubbish and get people saying oh don't swear in your videos that is not swearing to me I've been like brought up with that word and I know some people do class it as swearing so I will try and refrain from using it but do remember I've been brought up it was part of my voc vocabulary it's done it again but okay <laughs> still I just want to say that if I do say crap <sighs> sorry for saying it but just as an example I'm sorry for saying it okay that's for future reference 
Okay, so I decided to draw Skylar. Now, Skylar is a character I have not introduced yet. And the reason why I wanted to draw her is because I am planning something with Tatty1907 and she really, really wants to know about Skylar. She really, really does. And I kept spoiling her to her. She just wanted to know so badly about Skylar and I was like, nope, not until I upload the video. Which I haven't even made yet. Yay. I'm hoping to make that video some point this month. So, hopefully, I will make it. So, 28th of April, I did a picture of a mermaid. Okay, so, this is basically, just ignore that for a minute. So I did a picture of me stressing out about all the work I had to do and yeah this is all the all the work that I have left to do. I have a final show, YouTube, college, unit 8, unit 49, university prep, 41, unit 41, unit 50. So yeah I did these pictures where I did more fan drawings pictures with fans a yin and yang drawing with Loki and Elijah my mum's just come in and disturbed me so I'm a little bit awkward at the moment okay so this is basically Loki looking into her future and future Loki looking into her past. Okay, so this is Loki after she ran away from this life that she had. And she has the sword, like her stepbrother's sword, because she used it to like slice her hair off. Kind of like a Mulan. Yay! Loki's like Mulan in that way. But later on, she's kind of like Merida, just like carefree and curly haired. <laughs> so I drew these today, and this one is just of an angel. So you can see where I got the reference from, like back in the sketchbook. <laughs> so. My my fantasy art character is like that, so I drew a little chibi. I drew a little chibi of her, which I think is really cute. And not to copy my OC's name, but since it was for... Since this character is for my college work, I wanted to call her Sky because her world is like floating islands and all that so I really wanted to call her Sky <laughs> very different from Skylar I must say so <laughs> I drew a little like chibi version of me just leaning against the desk just going that's all for now folks and sleeping because I like to sleep Oh, the other pages are literally just scrap pages that I didn't use or just used for um, the backs of marker and watercolour drawings that got a bit messy. So, yeah, that's it. And I have actually got a red version of this sketchbook, so hopefully I will be using that next month. Well, this month, because it's May. See you next time, guys. Bye!